What's up guys? Alright, I just uh, received my Empire Axe from paintballgear.ca. Uh, I paid uh, five eighty for it after taxes. A little more than some retail stores, but I got free shipping. Um, and they sent me a bunch of other shit in the box. Uh, first impressions, awesome foam packing. The impact pad for it is sweet. I'm keeping the box. Um, really wide grip frame. Everybody says it is. I'd already played with one. Um, so I knew kind of what to expect. It's a little wider than the Mini, and I don't mind the Mini. I have little mitts, so it's not a big deal. Um, mini guts, quick removal bolt. You don't need tools for it. You just push, turn, and remove. Um, quick lock feed neck. I got the black axe so that I can get black accessories for it, because matching colors on different colored guns is kind of hard sometimes to get good rigs. Um, it's got the quick adapt ASA for uh, activating your air so you don't chew threads up. I know the Mini was really bad for O-rings. We went through quite a few on my buddy's gun. Um, the barrel thread's in kind of crusty when you put it in. It's it's pretty tight, but that's good. The machining tolerances are snug. Uh, it's a nice looking barrel. Light gun overall. Still friggin' your weightless. Um, I don't know, I think it's like two and a half pounds or something like that. Um, the only thing I'm going to play with, and I love this about the axe, there's next to no side-to-side -side slop on the trigger. The mini has a lot of play. Most of the minis you buy brand new, you can grab them and shake them, and they actually tick back and forth. Um, but the trigger pull on the axe... This is how much space is actually there, and there's the button. You can kind of hear it tick, so there's quite a bit of extra play. And on my ion, oh, he's got an ion. Everybody quick, make fun of me. Um, this is it. That's all the that's all the trigger play that's in my on my ion, and it actually get the eyes bypassed. It fires like that's. Yeah, so if I can do that, and that's literally less than two millimeters, I've actually tried to feeler gauge the slot behind the screw. Some people like a crisper trigger pull. Um, I like a crisp trigger pull, but I don't like there being a mile of space there. And I've been playing with this. I'm actually going to turn it on and just bypass the eyes. So you can hear the solenoid. It's pretty crisp, but it is there's quite a bit of extra space there. Like that's, it could be way back here. So yeah, I'm going to play with it a little bit and then I'll, uh, I'll repost. I need a friggin' HPA tank though because this one is integral. It's actually built right onto the gun with the uh, adapter. So I need either a new head for that or uh, a new HPA tank. And I want a ninja tank for this rig. So, But anyways, yeah, so that's the axe. Um, I'm really impressed with the, the packaging, the gun, it looks good, super light, like I said, it's going to be, you know, pimp to put accessories on, um, came with an awesome toolkit, all the Allen keys, extra parts, O-rings, lube, the whole shebang, so don't lose your parts kit, um, because it's got everything you need in it, and pull the stupid sticker off the feed neck, but yeah, otherwise, looks pretty, looks pretty baller, and the grip, where'd I put the grip, the grip is pretty, grip is pretty sick looking too, like it's a, it's a clever looking package, so yeah, anyways, I'll hit you guys up when I get some 